right guys, another test drive up here, Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, 1964 Pontiac Catalina 455, and as you can hear, definitely got some engine noise. We've got power steering, we've got power brakes, and I'll be taking it down the road pointing out any other flaws that I find so you know what you're getting before you get here. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping, maplemotors.com. Hit subscribe for daily content. I always try to be as honest as I can throughout these videos. I'm here to pick out the flaws. Guys, just sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. This one does have the sport four-speed transmission. It's got some faded carpet in it. The interior is in great shape, though. It looks good all the way around. And like I said, we're going to be going over all of that in detail towards the end of the video. Yeah, the second day in a row, we had a B with us. All right, looking around on the headliner. Not too bad. A few little stains in the visor there. You've got a missing cover here on your interior light. Dash on this one's pretty clean. Let's start her up again. So I've let her warm up. We need to go get a little bit of gas to throw in here. That blower motor is cutting on. You can hear it cutting on there. Cut it off. Play around with the switches there. Radio. We'll leave it on for a minute. Wipers are working. Showing 23,000 miles on the dash. Tilt column. Turn signals. Right side you can hear it clicking, but left side you can see it blinking. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? We're gonna be trying it out here in just a moment. Well, let's do it now. It's not working, what's this? I'm not sure what that switch is hooked up to, but we'll go ahead and hit the road. Radio's not working. See how this one runs and drives. Clutch is letting out on the top side there. It's got a good spring to it. This is the first time I've driven this. Yeah, those brakes. They're stopping fast. I 
bet you could take off in second in this. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put about twenty dollars worth of premium fuel in this ride, and we'll keep rolling on. I'm gonna get some undercarriage shots. I'm gonna do some outside stuff, and I'm gonna keep telling uh, on anything that I see with this one. We're trying to get the bee out of here. I hear him flying around back here. All right. Well, close to thirty dollars worth of premium fuel in this ride now. It's got a nice new gas cap in there. I don't know if the bee came out, but he's not really bothering me. I'm just kind of taking him around town. <laughs> yeah, he's still back here in the corner flying around. Does the gas gauge work? I don't know. It's starting to come up. Definitely not on E anymore. So I'm going to say it works. Let's take off. Something else I found in the floor is the light cover. So that's cool. Will it stay? I don't know. It may stay up there. Good deal. Let's head on back to the lot. So check us out. The brake works. Good deal. So it held us in place there. We'll go around the back of this little church here. I like video in here. I wish it had a big enough parking lot where I could do the outside shots. But I noticed there's a playground and there's scooters and stuff laying around. So definitely not going to do that here. Fall's coming in, guys. There's leaves falling everywhere. I'm starting to get my fall allergies, so if you hear me sniffling and stuff, that's just part of me. <laughs> I get them every year. Spring and fall. Summer, I'm not too bad. I usually go all summer without having allergies. All right. This would be the easy cruise in here and we're running about 45 40 mile an hour just kind of in town car is what i'd call it it's pretty smooth going down the road
Everything's pretty quiet other than it did have a motor noise. And it comes and goes. Um, but I will be going over that towards the end of the video. We'll listen to it some more. We'll zoom in, get close to the motor. And that's what I'm going to be doing, picking out the flaws. And that's at the end of the video. Try not to miss anything. See that third gear turn? Usually that'd be a second gear deal. Bumping the road here. Didn't even notice it. Suspension's nice and smooth. Not too bad. That blinker was not blinking earlier and it has ever since we left the lot. So the left and right turn signal are popping up on the dash. But you do have to manually cut those off. We're pulling back into the lot, guys. I'm gonna grab another car. I'm still behind from last week from going out of town and I'm sorry. I'll get them out there as fast as I possibly can. Uh, just be patient and I'm picking out another one. I'll be right back. Found us a nice little spot for this Catalina. I'm gonna walk around, look at any kind of flaws I can find. We're gonna be looking for chips, scratches, rust, dents. Um, we'll check the interior out. Let's go ahead and get started here. 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. You need financing or shipping, we have that for you. Coming around the front. The front bumper on this one actually looks pretty good. It's not bad. Your headlight bezels also are pretty clean. The grill's got a little bit of pitting. Some spot here in the corner. little bubble here a little wavy there in that back section nothing over a couple bubbles in the back here in the corner exhaust kicked out to the side ding in your trim here some chips behind the bumper back your midsection little ding there just kind of pointing at stuff some light bubbling under the paint door handle looks like it's been replaced like scuff up here on the side that is on top of the paint too so I do believe that'll buff off Little chip. Oh, oh. No, it's still chip. Been touched up. Slight little dimples there below the windshield. On the windshield itself, there's a few light scratches. A little scuffs coming up. bubbles mirror on this one looks good a little bit of pitting picking up a little debris from this trees around here there coming up on the back got some rust bubbles popping up here a little bit of pitting there on some of your trim Jam's got a decent seal there, a little rust up in the corner.
looks like they uh, painted over some surface rust. You could see that it was there. It was on the mat there. You can see the bumps throughout the pan. See some bubbles popping up here under that trunk lid. Went on down with it. Shut's good. Got a few dings in your trim here. Some bubbles popping up right there. A little crack in the paint. Chip here. A little bubble on the edge of that door. A couple up here in the front. Down on the bottom there. Got some bubble and a little rust trying to come through. Back your midsection. Slight ding there. Right here on that trim. Just some more dings in the trim there. Dings. Chips on the inside of that gas cap. Touch up mark there. Chrome looks good. Pitting on your mirror. Some very slight dimples in the paint here. It looks like some kind of chemical pill. It's very, very, very light. Touch up mark. I say it's very light like that because you might not be able to see it in the video, but in person you can see it if you look close. A little touch up mark there. There's that scratch here and going up from the windshield wipers in a previous previous wipers that were on it. Could have been bad and scratched the window. Little bubbles there on your pillar. One up in the middle too. Back windshield, not bad. Chrome looks good. Seals look good, vent windows. Sweet. So we made it around. Now let's go ahead and check out the interior. Door panel on this one is not bad. Not bad at all. Looks good. A little wrinkly at the bottom. bottom of the door here a little bit of bubble old previous bubbles it looks like 
Better pop it up. Up in the corner here, you got a little rust trying to pop up. Carpet. I said it's faded. Hasn't been changed out in years. You can see around the uh, door as well. My seat is in great shape on this one. I don't have any complaints. Guess our bumblebee friend left. The back package tray, it looks good, but it's a little warped. Just up by the edges of the window. Not saying that can't be fixed. Here in the back, if you look on your headliner, you've got a little bit of... Looks like it may have been a leak at one time, or... That may clean off. You see it up there on the back, too. It's because it's white, too. The black, you'd have never seen it. But I definitely like white. You can... it just seems so clean when it is clean. All right, coming up here. Check out the glove box. Still got the manuals in there. Little wrinkle here on the dash pad. Uh, emergency brake works. Give her a little gas. No more gas. I'm gonna pump it. Start on up now. Let's see. I guess we're flooded. I don't need to keep pumping it. <laughs> Just a second. Hold her to the floor and start it up. All right. Yeah, I flooded out the carbs on accident there. Sorry, guys. I didn't want to keep uh, hitting that starter too long either. Definitely hear a motor noise in this one, as I was talking about in the beginning. Sounds like lower end. Of course, I can't pinpoint it. That's what I'm going to call it. Aluminum radiator on this one. If it's staying nice and cool, it actually runs good. But that noise is getting louder and louder. It looks like a fairly new starter underneath there. Insulation looks good up under the hood. Chips, nose there. And it comes down easy. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I try to be as honest as I can throughout these videos. And of course nobody's perfect but uh i covered everything on this car we've got undercarriage shots inside out walked all the way around from bottom to top if you're new to the channel hit subscribe share this video check out maplemotors.com financing shipping detailed pictures and of course every monday i'll get new rides i get everything from project cars to show cars sometimes the show cars do not make it on here every once in a while i'll have some where i can uh show them off but we, we like this price range here. This is our price range, and uh, this is what we're going to keep putting out there. Thanks again for watching. See you later.